Hello friends, uh, I'm going to do a quick pick me up makeup today using some new products. This is my before, let me zoom you in and we'll put some things on my face. If you are new here, uh, welcome, my name is Rianne. I make videos sometimes, not so much lately, for various reasons. Where did the eyelash come from? But on the whole, everything is vegan, cruelty free. Uh, I like to do a little mental health stuff sometimes. It just depends. Everything I'm using will be linked and listed in the description box down below along with any discounts I can find. Uh, I did order a few new things from Sephora, which it's, it's been a while. So I'm gonna be trying some of them out today and just doing a very simple basic face of makeup. Please enjoy. So I'm going to start with the sunscreen a lot of you recommended, which is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. Previously, my favorite sunscreen had been Crave Beat Shield, which I'm going to link you to their post where they kind of announced that they're not making it anymore, that the SPF certification was iffy, and I'm just going to link you to that so you can read it because I'm not going to do a good job of explaining. So anyway, I am going to be trying out some new SPFs to tell you about. Cute little package. Oh, that is what it looks like. I see why it's called Unseen. I'm gonna do two fingers worth. Uh, usually I will do three of the beat shield because uh, I like to bring it all the way down my neck. Um, but obviously I don't know, this might go further. We'll see. Oh, feels somewhere between silicone and an oil. Oh, okay, well, I don't think I could have used three. Very silky. Hmm, okay. Those ears. I'm just gonna rub the rest into the back of my hands. Yeah, it does have an interesting feel in the skin. Just It does just feel like skincare. No real no real scent, like not even a, not even a sunscreen scent. It says it's scentless and colorless. Oh, and it's oil-free and non-comedogenic. That's nice. Reef safe, non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, vegan for all skin types. I feel like it's actually kind of smoothed out. My skin looks a little smoother with it on because it has that slight silicone -y feel. Does it have silicone in it? Don't know. If I seem a bit off or out of breath, first of all, it's because I haven't done this in a long time because there's been workers uh, going in and out of the studio, so I've not been able to use it. And also, I just had my uh, second Pfizer shot two days ago and uh, left me feeling a bit worse for wear, not gonna lie. I mean, it was definitely worth it, but um, yeah, it felt a bit rough. Oh, and I'm drinking a bit boobly. Another thing I ordered was the milk. Uh, electric glossy lip plumper. I've been getting back into lip plumpers lately. I don't know what it is. I just I kind of like the feeling, um, and I just like a clear gloss. So usually, I just reach a little plumpy guy. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a new concealer. This one is from Kosas. Uh, I see that they have removed the. They have an umlaut either on the O or the A. I don't know if it's called an umlaut in whatever language it's meant to be, but. Some people told me that would make it mean cow sauce, so maybe that's why they took it off. Uh, I tried this the other day, the shade is 3.5, cute packaging. It's much more yellow than I had anticipated, which is just one of the, uh, it's just what happens when you order things online, right? It's kind of hard to tell. Let me zoom you in some more. Okay, so then you can kind of see the base that that sunscreen left. I actually really like the sunscreen by itself. So, a little here. Because this is um, quite a nice yellow base tone, uh, it's going to work well on redness, which I appreciate. And I did like it when I used it the other day. I felt that it lasted quite well. It didn't um, kind of crease or um, break up throughout the day. To blend that, I'm going to be using one of the Eco Tools sponges, which I do like. My only wish is that they went for just a regular kind of egg shape because I personally like having the pointy part. This does obviously have pointy edges, but it's not the same. 
It's not the same in my eyes. Very nice natural finish. I, um, I'm a fan. And I think it's working fairly well over that sunscreen too, which is a relief because it's my first time trying the two together. Lovely. Here's an oldie but goldie. The Oma um, Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. This is in the shade White Pearl, which is perfect for me. I love it. It blends well with everything. Um, the colour is delightful. Both colours are delightful. Um, it's wondrous. Hmm. I really need to clean some brushes because I don't have any of my ideal brushes that are clean right now, so we're going in with a flat kabuki. My nose is whistling and it's making like a cuckoo sound. You know. <clears throat> Do you have cuckoos in America? I feel like it's a classic British wildlife noise. I'm gonna use a little bit of one of the new Bite um, whipped blushes. Daycation Whipped Blush. This is in Melon Mojito. I believe all of them do have a slight shimmer through them, so to me it's very much a summer blush because it's going to be like blush highlight all in one kind of deal. Um, I do really like the formula. I love the packaging. I think it's adorable. Just has like a little squeezy, squeezy guy on the end. I am hopeful that they will bring out uh, matte shades, ones with no shimmer, because I think that would be ideal. You could probably squish this straight on your cheek if you want to, but I'm going to put a bit on the back of my hand. It has kind of a moussey texture, and it does... They do dry down, so you're going to want to work with it fairly quickly. Look at me using my fingers. But it is... T this is like such a summer product, in my opinion. Glowy, nice kind of pinky flush. And they do have a bunch of other shades. This is just the only color that I have. Melon Mojito. I'll try and show you what this makeup looks like in daylight over on Instagram, just in case you want to see, because it is going to vary from like studio lighting to real life. But hopefully you can pick up the nice glow and everything is working really well together on top of that sunscreen so far, so that's great. But if you happen to be watching this, please release matte shades. It would be, it would be a dream. Okay, um, let's do some brows so I feel a bit more normal. One product I did order that I'm not gonna be using um, right now is the Kosas Air Brow Fluff and Hold Treatment Gel. I didn't realize there were treatment gels. Supports full brow health, apparently. Anyway, I got clear and I also got a color, but I'm gonna be using the colored one today. But if you are lucky enough to have nicely naturally pigmented brows you might want to try this one how cute is the packaging air brow so that's what it looks like dead cute the one I'm gonna be using uh, that was a clear packaging by the way and then I also got a tinted one too in soft brown tried this the other day I do like it, um, but it's not as strong of a hold as some you might be used to. So like, I'm used to using the Linda Holberg one, which is like, they're frozen in place. That's what that looks like, it's pink packaging instead of the kind of clear iridescent one. So anyway, if you do prefer more of a like soft, fluffy hold brow versus one that's like very stuck in place, I think it's just going to be personal preference, um, you may prefer this one. It still does um, tint them really nicely and gets them nicely fluffed. It's just a different product. And I do like this color for me, soft brown. I will say I do find this one to be quite thickening. 
if you kind of go back through and add a bit more, you don't even necessarily need to redunk it, just like twist the spoolie to a fresh side and add a bit more, you do get a nice kind of thicker, fluffy look. Do you think it's a really nice product? So there you go. Before, after. All right, let's make them match. Okay, consider me fluffed. Now I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I go in with the brow pencil that I got from them. Let's do a little setting. I bought um, the Kosas Cloud Set, which is their setting powder, and then I also got the Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer, which I did try the other day, and again, does have like a slight sheen through it. I wouldn't necessarily say you can see like glitter particles, but like there's something a little glowy there. Um, so this is more something I would like dust over the skin versus like to shape the face, you know what I'm saying? This is Cloud Set and I got the color Feathery. Ooh, makes me think of like feathery strokery. Sheer light medium. I'm just gonna get a bit on a fluffy brush and it does give quite a nice natural matte kind of finish. I'm just gonna do it in like some targeted areas. I would like to try this out some more, but I, I have liked it so far. And then let me show you the bronzer, which I got in the color Light Soft Bronze. It's very powdery. Um, this is the packaging. So you would want a light dusting. Do you know what? You can kind of see a very fine shimmer, I tell a lie. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna try and do just a light dusting. Maybe across the cheeks a little. This is not gonna be the best way for me to show you this because I don't want to use very much today, but a little across to the nose. And maybe I'll use it as an eyeshadow just so you can get a feel for the actual color. And it is a very pretty color, but it is going to give you a glow. So I know if you were used to a matte bronzer and then you went in heavy handed with this, you might, might be a little disappointed with the outcome. Oh, my brows. Okay, so I also picked up Brow Pop in the same soft brown color, again from Kosas. Looks like this. You got a spoolie on one end and then... It's like a miniature version of like the, what's the Anastasia one that's in that kind of shape. Why aren't you focusing? That's better. Do you see what I mean? It's like a, almost like a skinny triangle shape. So I'm just gonna fill my brows in a little with this. You know, I do actually want to add a little highlight, so I'm going in with my Burma stick. Right across here. And... On these little eye lumps. Inner corner. Would be the name. And then some mascara, and I'm just using the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I actually like using this one when I want um, more kind of like undone lashes. I have like naturally quite fair lashes, so you don't see them unless I put mascara on. And I just like how kind of natural this can look if you just do one thin coat. You definitely can build up volume if you add more. I think I've done that in a video, so I'll link it if I can find it, but um, I kind of like it just for a natural look. And I'm not doing my lower lashes because I simply can't be bothered. I don't really remember the last time I did. This lash could be bothered. Nobody else comes down here, so I did just allow myself to sneeze freely. <clears throat> Always when I don't want to sneeze is when I sneeze. 
when I really wanted to sneeze. I just can't do it. I'm kidding. That's a silly thing to say. I have some mistakes to correct there in a minute once it's dry. So for now I'm gonna do my lips. So I just blotted off that gloss a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the, another plumping gloss, I'm unstoppable. ColourPop So Juicy gloss, I think this, oh, roundabout is the color. And this is more of a minty tingle. All right, there you have it, friends. A quick pick-me-up using mostly new to be products. Big fan of the Kosas ones I've tried, and then that sunscreen was a really nice base for makeup so far. So hopefully things will last well throughout the day. They won't kind of break up, and obviously, uh, hopefully it protects me from the sun. So um, if you are curious about reapplying sunscreens, I'm gonna link you to, I think it was a reel that Nye, LA Beautyologist made. Uh, on different ways to reapply throughout the day uh, over makeup, so I'll link you to that. But yeah, just enough. Makes me feel a little glowy and done, and I just enjoyed myself as I went, and isn't that what we want to do, is to enjoy our makeup practice. As I said, everything will be linked and listed in the description box down below. If I missed anything or you have any questions, I will meet you in the comments. Um, thank you, as always, for being patient while I've been um, absent. You can find my social media on the end screen in just a second, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.